I want to test some old cast iron pans that I've recently picked up for lead. So the first one is a BSR pan from uh, the mid 60s, I believe. It's got that distinctive uh, back of the handle. Next up, I've got this nice square skillet, uh, which is a old Wagner. Um, I originally thought it was unmarked, as you can see, it uh, was really built up and rusty, but uh, once I cleaned it up, I was pleasantly surprised to find the uh, maker's mark on there. So that's a little, a little more interesting um, than I thought it was going to be. And lastly, I've got this, this chicken fryer, and this one I think is an unmarked Wagner. Um, you don't really see as many of these, or at least I haven't. Um, it's nice and deep and in pretty good condition. I'm going to use these lead test swabs to test each of the pans. And I just picked these up online. There are officially recognized testing kits uh, made by 3M, but you only get two in those and they're rather expensive. So we will see if these give us any results. So to activate, you dip them in white vinegar until they turn that mustard color. And then if they turn a darker shade um, in that pink and purple area, then that is a positive lead test. So the instructions say to swab the pan or surface for 30 seconds and then to see. And I don't see, though it's a little out of focus, I don't see any change in color other than just wiping off some uh, built up carbon on the pan. So that seems like a negative test result. Though it doesn't seem like there's a high chance of a pan being contaminated with lead, if you're buying a uh, cast iron where you don't know the full history, it is possible that it was used to melt lead for castings of some kind. And as you can see, it's still something that is done today. And it looks like that one is also coming up negative, which is another good result. Most of my cast iron has been either bought new or inherited, so I haven't really thought to do any lead testing. But now that I'm starting to collect some pieces uh, where I don't know the history of for myself and to give away, I thought it would be a good idea to maybe make this habit just for some peace of mind. Lead is just an incredibly toxic substance for the human body, and its effects are cumulative, so you really don't want to be ingesting any, and especially eating off a, a pan that has been contaminated with lead. So it looks like another negative result there. So while this is encouraging so far, I do want to test these swabs to see if they actually pick anything up. So I've got some low lead brass here, which should be under 100 parts per million. And I wanna see if this swab will pick anything up. And that looks like a negative, but these buckles are coated, I believe, with some kind of a protective coating. So I've got another buckle that has been worn down a bit to the pure brass, and let's see what we get there. And already it looks like it's changing color. So that is encouraging. And that is definitely a positive result. So it looks like these swabs can indeed detect levels of lead. I'm going to try another one on something I have that I don't know that it has lead in it, but I feel like it probably does. It's an old maybe pewter uh, case. So let's see if we get anything. And I can already see that it is changing color a bit, so there is likely lead in this metal, whatever it happens to be. While it does seem relatively unlikely that cast iron is going to be contaminated with lead, it's definitely a good idea to understand the risks and maybe mitigate those with some testing.